welcome to the Santa Monica Beat, sponsored by Diamond Foam and Fabric. I'm Julie Garcia. The City of Santa Monica showed off its new Emergency Operations Center on Thursday. To be prepared for any disaster, the center installed some of the latest computer technologies. We live on the edge of the Los Angeles megalopolis, a major earthquake, a man-made disaster. We have all of these TV panels that allow us to gather information locally and around the world. Some might say this kind of investment in a specialized facility like this may or may not be that necessary. Yes, until it happens. We're able to accommodate everybody that would be working in the EOC at any level. Our smart board is a crucial tool. It's a computer platform that gives us the ability to utilize electronic ink and literally draw on top of those images. We all know how important information is after a disaster or emergency and having the ability uh, to produce all the information needed for social media, press release. Uh, we could even do live radio broadcasts to get information out for our community. Our goal now is to train and be as good as this equipment and technology because it won't mean much unless we're really quite skilled and expert at it. City officials say the upgrade of the facility is a symbol of their commitment to public safety. And now it's time for another health tip with Dr. Stuart Garber in this week's Did You Know? Hi, I'm Dr. Stuart Garber, and this is your weekly health tip. Did you know that the earliest mention of psoriasis is in the Old Testament? This ancient disease can cause great physical and emotional suffering. Drug treatments for psoriasis don't always work and can be toxic. Studies have shown that changes in diet and lifestyle can have a positive effect. Regular exposure to sunlight improves symptoms in most people. There are nutritional supplements, herbs, and homeopathic remedies that can help support healthy skin. I'm Dr. Stuart Garber, and this has been your weekly health tip. The 2012 Ford Focus brings us the mix this week, where the Broad Stage celebrated its fifth year anniversary with a festival on Saturday. The Beats Brie Animals was there. There was something for everyone, including gospel music, art workshops, and even black box theater. We've really been able to tap into the extreme and amazing artistic talent that's here on the west side of Los Angeles, and particularly in Santa Monica. The reputation of the Broad has been an extraordinary thing. We got it not just because of working very hard to treat artists really well. It's really important to us, but we are so lucky to be part of Santa Monica College. This is a world-class theater that does world-class things. Really because of the support of all the wonderful people that are here today, we're up to over 150 performances a year and we just keep growing. The Broad Stage credits its strong and ever-growing local talent base for its ability to create and maintain relationships with world-renowned performing acts such as those that were here today. For information on upcoming performances, visit thebroadstage.com. For the Santa Monica Beat, I'm Brianna Moles. Thank you, Brianna. In the community, a new chapter of the Santa Monica Boys and Girls Club opened on Thursday. The Beats of Ijeche has the story. Olympic High School held a ribbon cutting ceremony Thursday to welcome the Boys and Girls Club to their campus. The club will offer students more extracurricular activities, including a college prep class. They have found a way to step up and become a greater and greater and larger and larger part of our community. It's just fantastic. There's many programs at the Santa Monica Boys and Girls Club, but one of them is called College Bound, and it's a program where we have a trained college counselor work with high school students so they can learn about going to college, they can learn about the application process, make sure they meet the deadlines, and get the encouragement that they can do it. I was like over a year behind in credits and then the Boys and Girls Club actually helped me um, catch up on my credits and then they helped me sign up for community college at Santa Monica College. Statistics have shown that students that go through the Boys and Girls Club score higher on the California High School exit exam and are more likely to go to college. Everyone we spoke to today is excited for the opportunity. For the Santa Monica Beat, I'm Avija Shea. Thank you, Avija. And now back for another year of sports, here's Spencer Lee. Thank you, Julie. I am Spencer Lee. Another school year is upon us, which means another sports year is upon us, which means, that's right, football season is upon us. Three Santa Monica teams held their home openers this weekend. Let's go right to the highlights. Friday night, Sam O'Hein coach Travis Clark at their first look at new quarterback Ryan Barberin against Redondo Union, and Barberin did not disappoint. The world may not be all rainbows and butterflies, but this pass is just as pretty. Barberin's first TD goes to Jason King. Second quarter now, remember this connection. Barberin to Sebastian LaRue for an easy touchdown pass. Then next drive, Barberin throws to the back shoulder of LaRue and LaRue just makes it look so easy. And finally, Barberin takes six of his own with a quarterback sneak as Samuel High beats Redondo 42 to 21. Then on Saturday night, St. Monica coach Adam Guerra rallies his Mariners against Malibu. And they go to the big fella early. Kevin Holabowski shows he has some feet made for dancing on a 51-yard run to put St. Monica up 10 to nothing. 
Then later in the half, quarterback Luke Kane finds Zach Lorenz, and Lorenz muscles his way across the goal line. The Mariners' defense held off the Boo passing game en route to a 20-12 win. And now to the JUCO ranks, Santa Monica College opening the year against Mount San Jacinto on Saturday. Reigning conference MVP Alfonso Medina picks up where he left off with a bomb to Reggie Mitchell over the middle for the Corsairs' first touchdown. But the Eagles responded in the second half when running back Superior Reed outruns the SMC defense for a 98-yard run untouched, except by the ball. But the Corsairs stay in it. Medina keeps fighting and goes to his tight end Dominique Bieria to give the Corsairs the 28-25 lead late. But the Eagles answer one more time when quarterback Tim Morovic finds Tyler Henderson for a 21-yard strike. Extra point no good, and it's 31-28. Last chance for SMC, Medina goes back to Mitchell deep, and the ball sails long, and Mount Jacinto hangs on for the three-point win. All three teams will be in action next weekend. For the who, when, where, go to smmirror.com. Back to you, Julie. Thank you, Spencer. And that does it for us this week. Be sure to join us next Monday at 9 a.m. And don't forget to watch Marley Mendoza in the Seven Days Show on Thursday. She'll tell you where to watch your favorite NFL team on opening weekend. Until next time, I'm Julie Garcia for the Santa Monica Beats, brought to you by Diamond Foam and Fabric.